Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm in a Lumens Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today, I wanna to talk to you about this retrograde energy that we're in, and we are approaching a full moon. I am talking to you about how it affects twin flames. So everything I present is from a twin flame perspective. Even if you don't identify as a twin flame, something brought you here, so pay attention because you're probably a twin flame in the making. You're probably going through parts of the process without maybe having the full picture of what it is. If this is new to you, do not be deterred by some of the stuff you see about out there. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little bit of history in this and show you a few things. So in this Jupiter retrograde, this actually feels a lot more to me like a Venus transit. Okay, it's affecting a lot of the feminine a lot, big time. Big time effects on females, exhaustion, anger, anger, angry at the situation. And maybe there's valid reasons for your anger. There are definitely valid reasons from the past. So this has a lot to do with fixing your cosmic stuff. It has a lot to do with those other DNA activations that you're going through. So the DNA activations are of the cosmic level, but that involves getting rid of your cosmic and your universal karma. What is that you say? Well, the cosmic karma is stuff that has happened in other planets. Your universal karma has more to do with what your daily life involves. It could have aspects of family or homes or work. And this is where it gets very weird. Now, there's some people that are just finding out what this is, and it's an exciting journey to them. For other people, you're not even sure what this twin flame thing is anymore. Is it a thing? Is it really a thing? Is it a thing like you once thought it was? I'll tell you what it really is. It is... Time for building your twin flame body, okay? It's a body thing. It's not just a twin flame thing. It is the brand new thing that you actually have been born here for. So there's a lot of feminine anger that is not normal. Do you feel like some of this stuff is welling up from nowhere? So I've been talking about this. It's still continuing because it's got to get out. Got to get out. And all the pettiness. And all of the dynamics that go with it. Who has defrauded you? Who has disenfranchised you? I mean, you're going to be angry about that. Exhaustion. You have to learn how and persist. So a lot of this energy has to do with life is changing. Okay? You can't compare to your past because there are things this year that are entirely new. They were intended to be new. Things are structured in a very different way. You have a new level. There's a new grid to connect to. You're leaving the matrix or whatever it is that you call it. You're leaving all of your embedded programming and patterns behind. But don't get lost in this. Don't lose ground. Don't give up. You have to be willing to change with it. Part of the reason that you can't compare it to your past is you're going to have a little bit of stop and go energy. What this retrograde is, I'm going to tell you what this actually is very comparable to you. This is like telling Santa Claus for years what you want. What you want and just being like, gosh, I really wish this. I wish I could be younger. I wish my knees would work. I wish my knees didn't predict the weather. I wish, I wish, I wish. I wish that... My twin would stop this or stop that. It's going to be those wishes coming true. It's going to be you realizing what you want to set up. And it's going to be the full moon to show you how to fix all your relationships. Get everything that you want around your union straightened out. So if you are still lingering in an old, expired, dead, stinky relationship or marriage it's time do not put it off okay i'm not going to sugarcoat that and say oh well you have years and years and years if you don't start something this year it will be years before you 
get to the point. You're going to go into next year. That's just a given. Whatever batches of people that already started this, you're going to be able to tell who's doing what by their symptoms and what's happening for them at night. Other people who haven't even started, they're not going to be affected in the same way. So there's a real split in people. Now, if you are experiencing certain ascension symptoms, those two, and I know how to tell, can tell where you are at with things. If you still have an addiction to something, time to ditch it. Time to alter and completely shift your relationship to that thing. Is it your relationship to sex? Is it your relationship to childbirthing? Is it your relationship to drinking? Okay, those are some easy things. What in your relationship to the past is hanging you up? I know how to help shift this stuff, but it's through the heart, not through the mind. So a lot of readings that are out there focus a lot on um, the mental, okay? Because naturally your head wants answers. Some of the answers are only giving you about a third of the information. You're not getting, you're getting some misinformation. You're getting maybe 30% of the valid information that you actually need to continue moving forward. I have several things to help you to continue to move forward and be new. The people I've been helping, I've been seeing them being new. I'm seeing them newly coming together and reunifying themselves. So what you are also fixing are you have to learn about the body and your body symptoms. What are some of the symptoms? Inflammations, weird things that pop up, parasites out of nowhere, feeling sick, feeling exhausted, feeling like there's something wrong with you but you can't pinpoint it, feeling depressed, feeling anxious, feeling nervous. These are all a part of this. Feeling skittish. Feeling like a complete confusion and inertia. So if you're at the point where you're just saying to yourself, what is this? What's going on anyway? What was this thing I started? I know I started it. I know I must have felt something, but I think it's just a thing. And have I just gotten caught up in this twin flame thing? No, you're hitting a wall. You're hitting a wall and it's time to start to get yourself really focused on your body the way you need to be. That is what I teach. I've been teaching it for the past few years. The people I work with have success with the things that they work through. The fastest and quickest way is going to be by using your twin flame body. You have to know how to breathe right. You have to do twin flame breath. You have to be able to engage the higher aspects of you to actually affect changes in your life. So if you're struggling with abundance, if you're struggling with jobs and money, okay, that's what I'm hearing is a lot out there. Guess what? You are entirely leaving the fourth dimension. You have to know how to do your new grid work because if you cannot plug yourselves in as you're unplugging from the old matrix, a lot of people are upset about that. Ooh, the programming. Oh, it was so programmed. Okay, you're getting unplugged, but did you plug in anew so that you can get higher and get into that proper flow up here? Probably not. Have you been able to clear things properly so that you yourself can get in an abundant flow? Abundance doesn't, doesn't always mean money. It means your relationships to all things. You are fixing all your relationships to all things that you want to get straightened out. So we are having a retrograde and a full moon in Libra and Jupiter, okay? Jupiter is that energy that wants to bring all good things to you. Libra is about balance and justice and bringing things um, justifiably to a level where it's intended to be win-win-win for everyone concerned. It may or may not be close. So I have a couple of things to show you as I'm doing this video. We had, um, we had a, you know, several things happen. Okay, this is um, a day after the fire in Notre Dame. I just want to send a lot of love to people in France. 
But I want to send a lot of love to people everywhere who are experiencing some kind of a tragedy. This is a very broad-based event that happens that touches a lot of people. We feel it emotionally. We feel it. We can have mixed emotions as we're watching it, as it loops through the media. We might say to ourselves, why did this happen? You know, and people's minds will come up with various reasons. There's an investigation, of course. Now, we want to steer away from that and focus on the positives that come out of this. I did a little bit of homework before this, and apparently in the 1800s, there was a gentleman that wanted to restore that building at that time because it had fallen into disrepair, and people battled him a bit. They didn't want it. They didn't want to spend money on it. They didn't uh, think it was worth it. I mean, you have a building that's a thousand years old and this happens. People look at old stuff and they say, it's a, it's junk or is it junk? Is it junky? Is it worth it? Is it functionally obsolete? People look at people that way too. Oh, it's a hot mess. A lot of people are looking at someone that they've been involved with and saying, is this my twin flame? Is it not my twin flame? That person is functionally obsolete. I think they're on the spectrum. I think they have a disorder. I think they're an addict. Okay? You better be sure it's your twin flame. Now, if you're working and you're doing the work, that work hits the mark. That is what you don't stop. And that is why I am inspired by this because I'm from Chicago. Chicago has a long history with trouble with fires. We've had churches burn. We had our entire city burn. I wasn't alive at that time. But when you go to the museum and you see the stuff, how hot it got and how it was fused together, it touches you someplace. And you want to say, never again. Let's rebuild. What our city did was they took it as an opportunity to invite innovative architects. You've got a clean slate built. Build, impress us, okay? We do have some impressive architecture here. What has happened here, okay? There are funds allocated because people have a value for something. Now, that's another thing that I've been seeing with relationships, okay? Get the things you want straightened out, your relationships. What is your relationship to your abundance? I've had a lot of people taking care of elderly what is the money for? Is it to restore and rebuild? Is it for bringing things to a better level? In other words, if money stays locked up and it's not put into circulation, it does nobody any good. It has to be for the living. Even though you could say this is over a thousand years old, it served a lot of the living. People went to see it. It was iconic and in several ways. Now, let's bring this back in time. We're going to bring a story back in time in our solar system. When I want to tell you why some of the things are the way they are, what has happened, okay? Why is this retrograde seem to push back a lot of the feminine anger? Why does it seem to bring things up that need to come into balance? Do you have friends? Do you have the kind of friend that can be there in your time of need? If you absolutely do, that's tremendous. If you don't, you better start wishing for it. Do you have the kind of friend that you could call at 3 a.m. and say, listen, the car blew a flat. I need you to come here with $500 and get me out of a ditch. And they say, let me put on some pants. I'm coming. Okay. Do you have that? If not, you better start wishing for your true friends to show up. Because just because people are spiritual doesn't mean that they're always ready to take the proper actions. Your real friends, your real relationships are what it's going to count. So here's what we've got. So I have a little diorama here that I want to show you. Okay. We've got, we've got a few of the people here, masculine people, okay? We've got some of the masculine 
And there is a cataclysmic thing that is about to happen. Things happened on another planet. What happened to them? They're out. Okay? They don't remember who they are. They've fallen all out all over. So what has the other angels, the first responders, the same kind of people that have responded to fire? We don't have fire departments because we're stupid. We have fire departments because we're prepared. And it's no different in the angelic realms. We rise to the challenge. We come in, we rescue, we pick up, we pick up, we get people. Now this has been an en masse thing, okay? So we remove, we remove the heaviness, we remove the heaviness, the heavy things. This is the stuff you're releasing. You're removing the heaviness of the past. We discard it, but then here comes Jupiter. Jupiter, okay, represented by the masculine and feminine, okay? Here come these to rescue and bring everything. Where are they bringing? Okay, after the healing. Chiron is one of the healing centers. If you have Chiron in your astrology chart, you or your twin have been getting some high-level healing. But what that means is that's been some deep cosmic healing. Chiron is one of the off-planet healing centers. So where are we bringing everything to? We're bringing it to Earth, okay? We have lovingly put everything here to get the lovers back together again, okay? And it's time for people to sort, okay? So just because you're sorting and you say, wow, there's an entire group and people can say, hey, you have a selection. Who are you gonna select? Well, she wants to select her true love. She wants to fully be with her true love. It's not that she doesn't care about the others. It's because it's time for a focus on health, well-being, coming together, expecting to being together, and sorting out your stuff. If you don't know how to sort your stuff up here so that you can have it down here, you need to start joining my classes. In fact, I'm going to tell everybody, start joining my classes because my classes teach you about the new light body. They are not intended to be something that you um, don't know. They're intended to round out your experience so that you are mastering yourself and what you need for your life. It's a part of how you get everything you want straightened out. A lot of people go through a lot of things. They will go through physical healing, divorces, birthing, I'm just going to bring up another thing, too. This is happening worldwide. It's not just one country. It's not just my country or another country, and that's it. It's happening worldwide, although not all at the same time for everybody in those countries. There's many people who have uh, been feeling like there's a lot of stuff from the past, even in this life, that has happened to them. They have endured and suffered this and that and that, okay? Wounds to the etheric body, wounds to the ego. So not everyone who is in their ego is actually doing a bad thing. The ego still does provide protection here at a physical level of living. Are you or your twin in your ego? Well, that may not be a bad thing because ego is not bad. Overthinking, overanalyzing, being indecisive, not knowing what you want, 
not doing what you can at the human level. So if you're a static person, if you just sit there and you do this and you say, I'm going to meditate or pray on it, you're not doing it. I'm just going to say that straight up. You're not doing it in the new way. You have to engage your light body. It requires movement. It requires you to go to certain things and places and people. So I'm going to cover some of this in my Leaving the Fourth Dimension and Gridwork class on April 21st. It is at 9 a.m. Central Time. So that is the early afternoon in the UK. I understand that that is Easter Sunday for certain people. Okay. A lot of you have been those first responders in the higher realms, and this is your turn. So if you've been, you know, watching things happen for other people, I want to tell you something. Everything's been equalized. The playing field is leveled, and you've leveled up or you're leveling up. People that find that their gifts are opening and they're going out and they're popping out doing readings might not know about the body. In fact, the majority of them don't. I do. I've been very deliberately put through my paces on purpose. That's what deliberately means by my higher self so that I can teach people about it and teach what to do and teach the difference so that there's not anger at the medical community and that there's not anger at spiritual people so that you yourself can discern what it is that you have going on because you'll need to do that with each other. These two need to be able to tune into each other and help each other. And that's it. They may do other work that helps other people, but for the most part, they're here to be together. They want to get to the kissing part. They want to kiss each other. They don't want to live in a, uh, the land of inertia. They don't even want to live in twin flame landia, where a lot of people like to live. Why? Because even that is a comfort zone. Some people leave twin flame landia. Why? Because they say, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not feeling it. Okay, that's not a bad thing. If you're not feeling it, come back to the body because that is the huge gift you are getting here that you were invited after these kind of cataclysms. You were not only invited here, you were brought here. And you were connected to each other. Like it or not, you're already connected to your twin flame. That makes it impossible to lose each other or cut each other away. What you cut away are all the weeds in your garden. You want yourselves to blossom. You don't want all the weeds in your garden. Okay, so while this is somewhat of a dramatic diorama and something that, you know, I could maybe wish I could depict on a film. It's already been depicted in several films. That's actually what has happened to a lot of the masculine. Now, if you had, you know, things clonk you on the head, might you be a little bit out of it? Might you want to numb out some pain? Might you want to not necessarily be fully awake yet? Okay. Who's taking the cosmic shrapnel out of your twin? Well, the majority of it has been blue race. We have restructured and rebuilt and we fixed the architecture. We fixed the larger architecture so that couples can come together more seamlessly and be successful with each other. Why? These two have to make love and create that third energy and get out, you know, Guess what? They're phoning it in from their bedroom. Shh. Okay. But the bottom line is that you have a new body that you will be learning with each other. Your body has a lot of delightful things. Even if you feel that you're in icky parts of this process and journey, what is your journey? You have people that don't even know that their twin flames out there talking about symptoms and energies and the cosmos and conspiracy theories. Twin flame, twin flame, twin flame. But they may not know it. I know it because that's where my gifts are. I have to be able to tell people if they're a twin flame and where they're at on the journey and where they need to, you know, focus their efforts and energies. Where do you 
expedite it? How do you get this to be concise as possible for you? Now, I've written several books. I have four books out. I do a session to help you move your energies also. The causal body, the causal body is your manifester. This is how you get things done. Or a spirit session. We can work on your spirit body or it can be a spirit chat where you discuss the things that are of concern to you. It doesn't matter what it is. If you've had a session with me, you should have a follow-up because not only have my gifts expanded and been enhanced and help people to expedite, but if it's been a while, you'll probably need to focus on where you need to focus the most. It's just that way. Nobody I know is doing a ninth dimensional healing session the way that I do, where I'm removing phobias within three sessions, where people are working on their addictions and they're not going through some of the things that they might have gone through 10 years ago. We narrow it and we focus it and we get it done. There's a lot that, and there's a lot that's going to grow with this, okay? This is only the beginning, ladies and gentlemen, even though you want it to, you know, you, you want certain things to end. Yes, it's just like that song. Every new beginning comes from some beginning's end. It's the end of an era. It's the end of the old paradigm. There's closure. There's going to be more closure starting in July, culminating in August. So get your stuff done so you can put closure to things. If you don't know what that is, it's time to come and see me. The links are below. You can go to my website or you can email me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. If you need supplements and essential oils, and I have outlines in my books, if you would like an ascension kit, go to my website, twinflamebody.com. And please subscribe. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Thank you to people for joining my webinars. I help and I learn from you. And I get better and we expedite things. I mean, I'm a firm believer in, you know, why lengthen it out with useless rituals? Why not cut to the chase? How much, how much time do you want to spend on your inner child work? Or do you want to expedite it and get to the good stuff? So... How do you break the tension? Are you struggling to breathe? I mean, there's so many things that I know how to help people with. And all you need to do is reach out to me. If you're not sure, I will feel it. And we can go from there. So please help this couple. They want to be kissing each other. Please help, won't you? Okay. So we're excited to see the rebuilding process everywhere. Rebuilding and building new and building new relationships. Jupiter retrograde, find out how to get rid of your anger. I help people with that. Full moon, let it shed some light on what would you like. Do you want quality relationships? Do you want quality friendships where your time is spent being friends and not just, you know, talking twin flame shop talk? Only you can answer that. So thanks so much for watching. I look forward to hearing from some of you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.